Many across 21 country left angry and frustrated after an outage forced cell service interruptions for thousands. Service is now fully restored. ABC 21's Tyler Brummett was looking into why this happened and has reaction. Well, Sam, no doubt a very frustrating situation. AT&T says the outage was caused by a cut in the fiber wire. That wire was owned by a company called Zayo. The outage began yesterday afternoon around 3 and went on for more than 24 hours. On our Facebook page, many of you expressing frustration but also concern, worried about what could possibly happen without an easy way to contact loved ones. People in Northeast Indiana without cell service for parts of this weekend. Social media lighting up with T-Mobile and AT&T customers fuming. Not being able to get any calls, not being able to check on my mother, my daughter's not able to call me. It's been very frustrating. Christine Green was one of the many hit hard by the more than 24 hour long outage. She has Cricket, which is run through AT&T. Downdetector.com showed a loss of service across the northeast part of the state, extending into central Indiana. Phones are the biggest thing. You know, everyone has a cell phone. Everyone needs a cell phone. Everyone uses a cell phone. For Green, though, it was much more than anger. She was worried about what could happen if she needed her phone in an instant. So I have to take my husband to work at 4 o'clock in the morning, you know, driving that time of night, not knowing if car breaks down. I can't call anyone. My phone only calls 911. And the thought of that is very scary. For many of you with AT&T, you probably had a similar issue where you try to make a phone call and maybe it'll say that the call failed immediately or sometimes you'll get a message like this after it rings for a little bit. AT&T said during the initial hours of the outage in a statement, quote, we are aware that some wireless customers in the Fort Wayne area may be experiencing intermittent service because of a problem in the local service provider's network. We are in contact with them and appreciate our customers' patience while they work to fix this, end quote. A worker at the store telling me off camera they had no idea why service was disrupted. And with phone calls now able to go through once again, Green hopes companies are able to prevent an outage like this from happening again. What if this happens, you know, in the near future, where it's more than a day or two, a week, a month? I mean, it's, it's a scary thought to think no technology. And I do want to mention that we reached out to AT&T today. It's unclear tonight why it took so long to restore service. It is worth mentioning, though, that crews have been out working to restore cell service in other parts of the country because of Hurricane Ida. But, Sam, we don't know if that's what caused a delay in the response time. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated. But the good news, again, people now with cell service, a thing that really took a long time, and people, I'm sure, are relieved tonight. Tyler, thank you for that.